the last of the good stuff, boss. I know. Some of those bottles I've had for ten years. But we gotta make payroll. Get it out of here. Convert them. Load it up. Good to see you, boys. Boss, any word on a job I pulled with Salvatore? You did fine, Tom. Galati's got nothing on us now. We bought some time. At least until the money runs out. Don't go selling off the farm yet, boss. Sam says you worked out an angle. Yeah, and you're gonna love it. We make a few bucks and knock out a couple of Morello's teeth, too. Okay, what's the rumpus? A couple of weeks ago, I'm relaxing in the cigar lounge at the Blue Tropics. Where? Some small-time whorehouse. It's just a couple of closets with some mattresses on the floor. It's a gentleman's club. They got a bar and everything. <laughs> Anyways, one of the Johns is south. And he's crying to the madam about all his troubles. He catches my ear on account of his goofy accent. He's going on and on about how he just landed this huge payday. But the goons he's working for are already twisting his arm. And he's got the busted nose to show for it. You pick up his tab? Hell no. But I walked him out of the place, took him to the diner around the corner to sober up. We get to talking. Turns out his name is Gates. He's this hick up from Kentucky. Moonshiner? Uh-uh-uh. Better. His pop's got a couple of real distilleries, and I'll give you one guess as to their exclusive buyer around these parts. Morello. And you think he wants to burn bridges? Oh, yeah. I've been working him steady, boss. He's bringing up another shipment tonight, but he's got his entire crew ready to roll over. All we gotta do is make it look like a proper heist. I don't know, Polly. You really trust this guy. He's got no love for Morello, I'll tell you that. Not like we got a lot of options here. Mm. We'll be cutting up the last beam pretty soon, boss. What do you think, Tom? We need to replace the Canadian. If Polly says this Gates can do that, I'm in. Where's the meat? The big parking garage downtown. Okay, do it. But you better not be playing grab ass this time. You take Carlo and little Bill with you. Sure thing, boss. Once you have the truck, drive it back here. We won't let you down, boss. Don't make me regret giving you some time out there in the streets with the guys, Carlo. You don't have to worry about me. I know I don't. Tommy does that for me. I'll keep your driver safe, boss. Bona fortuna, boys. Sam and little Bill said to meet him downtown. So who's driving? No, of course it's me. Why am I even asking, man? You okay, Carlo? Looking kind of like you shit yourself. Ah, get bent. Big moment, huh? Finally running with the pack. Listen, I spend more time with a damn. Than I all forgot you to together. greet you sure, all, guys, man. Sure, sat out on the road. I was so into the story and everything. Like, the Larry is running out of the money. What? If you don't want me to come, I won't. It's anyway, fine. welcome to our new episode. Now you come. I hope you'll stay and enjoy. Coming. Just you get a face like you're being taken for an errand. I don't want Gates thinking we're frails. Why is Gates sour Morello anyways? First time Gates pulled in with his trucks, Morello decided to change up the terms. The big guy himself popped him in the nose as part of their renegotiation. His nose is gonna get more in a pop if Morello hears we're involved. That's why we're pretending to stick him up. Then he'll go back to his pop and tell a sob story about being robbed at gunpoint. He'll convince his old man that Morello can't protect the merchandise. They'll need to find a new buyer out here, and he's heard of a stand-up guy named Salieri. This plan is some bullshit, Tom. Polly told it to me yesterday, and somehow it's gotten worse. Hey, when you get a lead for the boss, and you don't just drive him places, then... Then you get to pick holes. Till then, shut your damn mouth. Ah, whatever helps you sleep. When Morello tracks you down, don't come crying to me. You serious? You actually serious? Fellas, knock it off. Christ. Did they actually shut up? Well, for the first time in this game, they're like three of them in the car and not taking a thing. Watch the road! Yeah, yeah, I'm watching it. Oh, but we're already here in the garage. I do a lot of 
of deals here. Parking attendant don't ask for much dough. Always closes up shop till I'm done. Okay, we're good. Gates is waiting up on the top floor. Oh, that's the Sam's car. <laughs> I thought to myself, who parked there like an idiot? seems clear so far only people with cars are people with jobs nine to five place is deserted well we got jobs and we're here that kind of a job sure anything else we need to know about gates Bowie? only that he's got a bust up nose and crates full of the good stuff our kind of guy our kind of guy Oh, I have a bad feeling Park about this. Sure thing. Holly, good to see you, pal. Yeah, you too, Gates. Well, I hope you all have good taste in whiskey. I ain't really the expert here. Tommy. Oh, yeah. It's fine. Your first payment. If the Don's impressed, he'll finance more runs. And each one's gonna be bigger than the last. We're all gonna be rich, boys. Well, we are always happy to do business with good folks like Don Salieri. Please, give him my regards. Sure thing. Now we just gotta conclude this transaction. <laughs> No, no! It's okay. Oh, what? I told you we gotta make it look like a proper robbery. Damn thing gonna be crooked by the time I'm done with this city. Ah, don't worry, pal. With all the dough you're raking in, you're gonna be able to pay for a new one. <laughs> Watch out! I told you I have a bad feeling about this. How the hell did they know about this? Because you always shoot your mouth off. Gates took a bullet. Who told them? Ah, oh, Polly. Is he gonna leave? This ain't as bad as it looks. Now take the booze and get. My guys will come for me. Go, go, go! So long as you guys clear him out up ahead, I'll be safe here with the little guy. Carlo, in the cab with me. You know you stead. Tommy, check for more of them. This thing ain't over. Come on, I'll back you up! Escort the truck. Like what, on foot? God damn, you crazy bastards. We got more of them! Of course we do. I'm really low on that. This is easy target. Senior. I clipped you. Oh, I clipped you. Real nicely. Okay, truck is on the way. Nice. Uh oh, we are not going through there, boys. Are we? Not through the fence, but through the 
How dare you, stupid. Or maybe not. Maybe through the fence. Find a way in, Tom! Stick with the truck! Wow, that guy scared me. Need to be more careful around. Okay, I was the right for the first time, nice. Let's get some bombs. Turn that valve. Manual sprinkles, man. Clear? You sure? Okay, we're getting out of here. I can't believe I lived through that. Follow him close. I know Morello and he'll have guys on the street. Lots of guys. Grab a set of wheels and watch my back. Sure, Sam. Did Morello hear about my deal? All kinds of beefers in this city. For now, let's get the booze back to the warehouse and try not to die. Yeah, let's go, Polly. Oh, huh, look what you did to my beautiful car, man. Okay, let's slow him down some. Hit him where it hurts. I took one. The thing is just to keep firing as fast as you can. Morello sent more guys after us! Another motor coming after the boost truck! I don't worry about the cuppers. Sam's going through the Hoover Bell! So I guess we are too! <laughs> Damn! Sam, you're nuts! Crazy buster! Hey, but we made it. They got me stuck. You got nothing on me. I hope my car is alright though. The truck is fine so far. I think we lost them all. Thank Christ for that. Let's head home. See what we got. We got the booze. I mean, I know it didn't go to plan, but we got the booze. Yeah. So tonight, me and you are gonna drink a bunch of it. I guess we earned that much. like a 38. Morello's boys caught up with you? Yeah, boss. We took care of it. What about the kid from Kentucky? Uh, he took a slug to the shoulder, but uh, he's a tough blocker. He and his crew dusted out as soon as we bumped off Morello's hatchet, man. Getting shot will give Gates and his pop another reason to ice Morello out of the whiskey business. 
Well, let's see if this hooch was worth all the trouble. Excellent. I'll work out the details with Papa Gates. But once we're running this Kentucky Brown, we'll be back in brass buttons. Good work, son. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of all of you. Saludo! Saludo! Well, thanks for joining me. Well, thanks for joining me in this episode. I hope you liked it. It was quite a run of an episode, so to say, but it was a fun ride with whiskey, protecting the whiskey. Hooray, whiskey. <laughs> anyway, hope you'll see you all in the next one. Subscribe. Bye.